Hello everyone. So welcome to the session 13 Jenkins series. So in this session, we will see how we can run different test ng XML files using the Jenkins parameters. So we have a scenario. Let's say we have sanity suit and regression suit in our framework. So obviously sanity suit will contain some sanity test case and regression suit XML will contain some uh, regression test case. So I will have to create a uh, Jenkins parameter job. In that I will create one parameter that is suit. So if user select sanity in that suit drop down this sanity suit xml should get executed okay and if user select regression then this regression suit xml should get executed so we are giving choice to the user what type of automation he want to run if you want to run the sanity or if you want to uh, run the full regression so using the jenkins parameter so this is the sample project i have created and this contains some sample test ng test cases so i have created two packages for regression and one package for sanity okay so this uh, test ng classes will simply print some uh, sample statement in the console okay so i have created two xml files one is sanity suit xml this will run the sanity test cases okay sanity test ng classes and regression suit xml so we want to execute the this Maven project with the help of Jenkins and in that Jenkins we need to create a parameter such that if you select this sanity then this sanity suit XML should be executed and if user select the regression then this regression should, should be executed. Okay so before we create the Jenkins parameter job there are few things we need to do uh, in this Maven project so that Jenkins parameters will work. Okay so first open the pom.xml file. So if we go here in the properties, I have created one property that is suit file property. Okay, so this suit file property you need to create under the properties tag. So you can provide here the by default suit file you want to execute. So I have provided the sanity suit dot XML. So if user do not provide any choice, then this sanity suit XML should be executed by default. Okay, and the value of this sanity uh, or suit file I am going to use in the Surefire plugin. Okay, so how we can use it in the Surefire plugin in the configuration section, you can provide the dynamic value of the suit XML file. So whatever property we have created, you can use the value of that property at the runtime. Okay, so if user select sanity, then that value will be replaced over here. And if user select the regression, then that value will be replaced here. Okay, and accordingly, our sanity or regression suit XML file will be executed by the Surefire plugin. So our new one uh, project setup is done. Let's go to the Jenkins part now. So click on new item to create a Jenkins parameter job. So I will provide name here. So project name is run test ng suit with Jenkins parameter. So you can use the freestyle project or you can use the new one project. So let's use the main project this time. Click on OK. So we need to make this project as a parameterized job, right? So select this checkbox. So from this add parameter drop down, select a choice parameter so that you can provide a choice for user to select the automation type. So here provide the name for your parameter automation suit and what kind of automation user can select from that drop down. First one is sanity. It's underscore suit. Next one is regression. Okay, so on the Jenkins UI user will get uh, this drop down automation suit and in the drop down you will get uh, two options. One is sanity suit and regression suit. So we need to run the main project on our local machine. So in the source code management select none. So in the root form you need to provide the location of your pom.xml file that you want to run. So to find the location of our main project, just right click on the project, go to properties and this is my location. I will copy this location, add here. Okay, in the goals and options section, we need to provide the, uh, the main command that we want to run. So let's say I want to run the clean install. Okay, so you can use the clean test or clean package as per your requirement. So after that, I need to provide the value for our property that we have defined in the pom.xml file. Right. So by default value for this property is sanity suit. So to change the value from the Jenkins parameters, I need to use the property name. So hyphen D, this is the property name is equal to 
so value for this suit file is dynamic and that value will be replaced with the value of automation suit so we need to use the value of that jenkins choice parameter so how you can fetch that using the dollar to curly bracket you can provide and inside curly bracket provide the name of our jenkins parameter that is automation suit right and at the end dot xml this is the extension because we need to run the xml file and uh, how we have provided the property that is sanity suit dot xml so make sure to provide this dot xml extension at the end okay so click on apply and save so click on build with parameter so we got our jenkin parameter that is automation suit and for that parameter in the drop down we have two values one is sanity suit and another one is regression suit okay so user can select one value at a time okay either sanity suit or regression suit he can run so let's say i want to run the sanity suit and click on build go to console output so you can see from the test the sanity test case has got executed from the sanity xml and you can check the build section over here executing may one and this is the command form.xml file clean install hyphen d uh, suit file is equal to sanity suit dot xml so sanity suit is the value of our jenkins parameters whatever user has selected from that drop down that value will be used over here so we got the build success so let's run the regression suit now build with parameter this time i will select the regression suit click on build so as per our configuration this time it should replace the regression suit in our maven command okay and as we have selected the regression suit it will execute the regression suit xml test cases so this is how uh, you can use the jenkins parameters to run our different type of test and xml files so you can have multiple test and xml files in your uh, automation framework so there are different ways by which we can handle this scenario so i have just shown you the simple and easy way so that you can understand and you can explain in the interviews as well so you just need to create a property in the form.xml file and value of that property we need to use in the surefire plugin and in the configuration section of the jenkins job you just need to use the value of our jenkins parameters so just use the name of our choice parameter using the dollar curly bracket okay so very important uh, question guys for the interviews as well so i hope you will understand this scenario uh, let me know if you don't understand anything from this thank you